Hi everyone, I am Enzo Aita, Head of Marketing at Regain and uh, we are here today at Ushuaia Ibiza and the reason why we're here is because we are going to run the first session of a webinar series called The Last Available Room. For this occasion we will have two very special guests and uh, for them we will make a very insightful interview and I'm here to introduce my colleague Nicola Rolle, we'll, we'll explain a little bit more about that. Thank you so much for the introduction, and so as, as you mentioned, I'm uh, Nick Rolle, and I'm the uh, head of uh, sales for Southern Europe at Right Gain, and I'm very excited to be here today uh, and had the opportunity to have a breakfast meeting uh, with uh, Sergio Certuce, who's the uh, chief of uh, uh, marketing and sales officer at Palladium Hotel Group, and Diego Fernandez, who's the corporate revenue manager uh, at Palladium Hotel Groups. So very excited right now to have a, a quick chat with them, uh, and so let's go upstairs and find out. See you later, guys. See you later. So let me let me um, uh, first of all start a little bit about you. You know, um, what is your role within uh, Palladium Hotel Group, uh, Sergio and, uh, and Diego? Well, um, I'm Sergio Sertuce. I'm the Chief Sales and Marketing Officer for the company. So under my responsibility is uh, to manage all the marketing mix in the company, uh, pricing, product, promotion, distribution, uh, and take care of the, the, all the hotels in the company. We have 50 hotels in the company under eight different brands. We have presence in six different countries. We are in Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Brazil, Mexico, Italy, and Spain. I'm the corporate revenue manager, manager for the company, and uh, we are in charge of uh, taking care of this distribution and the pricing strategies for our properties. So this is basic, our main objective. And like Sergio has said, we have a lot of fun daily because we have a lot of brands who all these brand needs uh, specific actions in terms of pricing and, and distribution. The two things that we need to, uh, to aim uh, for the future is growth and branding awareness. Actually, let me share with you the vision. The, the mission of our company is to convert uh, clients in fans, in lifelong fans. So thank you so much, Sergio, for sharing uh, the challenges that you have. But talking about this, you know, I understand also you're being very successful as a company. So I would like to know from your side, what are the secrets of your success? Can you share some of them with us? Well, yeah, uh, well, that's our secret sauce. So, uh, but I will share a little bit with you. That's okay. okay. Since eight years ago, we have been uh, uh, betting for a differentiation, differentiation strategy in our products. We used to be a company with a lot of hotels, two or three stars, so we reconvert them in, in a high differentiated products in order to give value to our clients. I would say that uh, our passion, our culture, Actually, today in our culture, one of the statements, the, the big statements of our culture, the Palladium way is, we play to win, no, not to avoid losing. So that means that also you have to take, uh, you have to take certain risks or be brave in order to develop some ideas, so new, uh, new, new targets, new products. Other, other example is, for example, Harro Hotel Tenerife, mm -hmm. you know, that was a, a, actually a brave decision as well, but, but we believe in what we do and we believe that we are able to create relevant content, relevant products that are differentiated for the rest. So Tenerife has been always a, a really um, consolidate uh, destination but in the top of mind of the people is like a destination to, to relax. It's calm. It's, uh, if, if you talk about music, it's like they play classic music. 
So then we decide to go there and put uh, develop a hard rock hotel, which that product it doesn't the, it, it's not really aligned to to the destination at, at the beginning. It's like then you suddenly came to the destination to play rock and roll instead of classic music. So that's a brave decision, but we believe in what we are able to do in our culture, in playing to win. So today, hopefully, uh, today we have been creating the demand for that hotel. We're so happy be because the success of that hotel and actually because it's something different because other secret of our success is to be uh, so customer centric and be obsessive with the fact of create emotional experience with our clients. Mm. So let me, talking about this, how do you uh, align in the organization particularly between revenue and, uh, and marketing? So how currently, for example, your revenue uh, department is structured? The, the department is divided in three main areas. First of all, we have the call center, who, who, we, uh, who are in charge of all the direct uh, reservations through the uh, telephone, through the mail, and also the chat. We, we have uh, one chat that is, was a, a tremendous success uh, in, in, in the website. Also, an, another important part is our booking center. We need to take into account that uh, we have centralized all the reservations uh, here in Ibiza for the properties in Europe. So we don't have reservation department in each property. It's, they are all together in the headquarters here in downtown Ibiza. Uh, this department is in charge of taking care of the booking and having all the reservation control uh, in order to uh, have the booking uh, clear. Uh, last but not least, we have one of the youngest team in, in the company uh, with less than four years of life, mm -hmm. uh, we can say. Uh, this is the revenue management team, which also centralized everything here in, in the corporate office. Um, they are distributing in clusters, and this cluster has some, uh, some revenues in there. Uh, and all this team is led by uh, Barbara Cazada, who is our uh, central reservation booking manager and revenue manager for, for the properties here in Ibiza. Mm -hmm. This is mainly the, the biggest structure that, that we have. Fantastic. Let me ask you a question, you know, since you're dealing with uh, also pricing strategy. Uh, at the moment at Palladium Group, are you focusing more on growing your ADR or more on the rev part, uh, uh, part of yeah, the this is a, of that? A very, uh, a very good question as, as a we are. Well. Yeah, a tough one as well. Yeah, very <laughs> tough. I don't know what to say. No, let's, let's, let's start. I, I, I mean, the rev part, as we all know, is one of the most important KPIs in the revenue management area. Uh, but like things in our lives, it takes things to improve. I mean, some years ago we started uh, very uh, focusing on ADR, and sometimes uh, we are still focusing in, in some properties in the ADR. But the team has become a very centric uh, repair uh, manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, about KPI between repair and ADR, also it depends about the strategy of that specific Fake hotel, hotel. You know? right sometimes sometimes like when when you are launching a product you want to position that product you want to give just don't forget that the price itself it also is a part of the marketing mix who communicates something but but uh, as Diego say I mean, red bar is a key and actually Diego uh, he, he doesn't see only red bar yeah. he's it's making learning. a twist a, a, a twist where now he's looking also God part. Wow, this is the you know? key factor I mean, of that. Exactly, yeah. because uh, today he's so aware about the distribution cost that represent each distribution channel. You know, it's not only about revenue, mm -hmm. it's it's about be efficient with your distribution strategy. We need to, 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 to balance our distribution in order to have online, offline, direct sales, OTAs, and everything connected, uh, we have a strong partnership with our clients 
and we work very hard in order to give them also the best service possible. But the key in this question is to balance. Yeah. I mean, so uh, in order to be successful, you need to spread the risk, yeah. let's say, right? Yes. Yeah. But this balance will will happen. I mean, all the players in our distribution strategy, strategy has something to add value within that picture, you know? Yeah. So uh, about off, on, I mean, like, for example, off uh, tour operators or offline, they give you a length of stay seven of days. seven days. Mm -hmm. Maybe the e-commerce, they give you three. So maybe there is hotels where we need to create a base. And for me, it, it worth it and it add value to, to you know, to, to, to invite to that party, to the tour operators, because they give me too many business in advance. They give me a length of a stay of seven days. So all those components add value to my overall business, overall business, or, business or overall, overall business. distribution strategy. Yeah. And I think that in the future, it's not about, I mean, people talk about offline, online, right? It's like the music. Mm -hmm. music uh, people about the music try to segment, se uh, make a segmentation in the music about old one and, and mm -hmm. a new mm -hmm. one. So I ask myself, why we don't make a segmentation of good one or bad one in case of the music? What about in distribution? Instead of offline or online, what about dynamic mm -hmm. and static? I see your point. You I know? see your point. So, of course I can make business with this tour operator that everybody call it offline. Mm. What about if he is able to integrate with me in a dynamic uh, way? So when the demand is here, both take advantage of that over demand mm. that the destination has. I don't believe anymore in off and on. I persuade and I, uh, we will chase the scenario dynamic, static. Mm -hmm. So how do you uh, actually uh, use technology at Palladium Hotel Group to help you in your daily tasks for both distribution, revenue management, marketing, for example? Uh, one of the most important challenges that we are facing is how the distribution channels are changing. So you need to spend a lot of money and a lot of resources in order to keep your strategy or your distribution control. Because uh, nowadays every person in their house can make a website with a spider and taking prices of everyone and uh, making the distribution not clear. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also the rate parity that we also will speak in, uh, during the, the webinar uh, is, a, a, con is a, a result of this distribution that we're facing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's taking time, money and effort to, to get this rate parity in order to spread or in order to tell the market this is your price. Because nowadays with this rate disparity it's difficult to, to express to the client who is your, what is your, uh, your real price. Mm -hmm. Because every page has another price for your products. Uh, what's your view about uh, intermediation, so channels against, for example, direct sales you know, with, uh, with your, your own uh, web? For example, in Punta Cana, we have a complex with 2,000 rooms. Yeah, so it's... Uh... I mean, you need distribution, you need intermediaries, you need to create the demand through these intermediaries in order to create this huge volume of clients that you need. two of your major uh, goals and challenges you know one of them is brand awareness and yeah. the other one is growth you know in order to you know to grow uh, uh, the company so in order also to do uh, that Sergio how do you structure how is the structure of your marketing department because obviously we, we discussed before about the yeah. revenue right. department but how is the marketing department structure in order to you know to be able to encompass all these objectives and, and goals that you have in mind for the future? Yeah, we have a, a huge structure in, in our marketing department. I have uh, my marketing director, Iñaki Bao, he is part of my team. We have brand brand managers, brand marketing managers, like Ushuaia brand marketing manager, Harro Hotel brand marketing manager. I have this amazing uh, unit that we call it customer intelligence. Then we have 
within our marketing, also the, our social media department. Mm -hmm. We are so strong in social media. And uh, another part of our uh, marketing, it's of obviously the design, design uh, department. It's like a, we have an internal marketing agency. Mm -hmm. It's key to uh, be aligned between the efforts that we do in marketing with our a strategy, in, a strategy in distribution. Yeah. I know, Diego, you, you're using some of the um, rate gain yeah. uh, product at the moment. Yeah. Can you share a little bit more uh, which product are you using and how do you see uh, the usage of uh, rate gain within your corporation? Yeah, we are using the package reports in, in the America's property. Uh, this was a task who takes more than a week and more than a person. To, to do it. Nowadays, we have all our package reports in only two seconds mm -hmm. in our in our uh, uh, computers. Uh, the the tool is amazing, and uh, they give us the opportunity to see how we are selling or the companies are selling our hotels uh, with the flight included. Mm -hmm. That maybe in Europe is not so relevant, but in the Caribbean properties the package uh, rate is, is so huge and, and very important for the, the entire uh, hoteliers there. So we have taken a lot of decisions since we have the, the, the tool in order to set the correct price for, the, for our property. We are taking real decisions with this information. Mm -hmm. Probably the, the last year was the last one, but we, we, we have been seeing the numbers, seeing the, the, the reports that the, the tool is giving us. And, and taking decisions in real time. This was impossible uh, to, 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 to have it a couple of months after, uh, before having the, the tool. So this is the key for the technology. Uh, you go one step further in your decision and you go faster and uh, as Sergio has said, time to market. And also for us, this technology, this platform with, with you guys, with Rockane, is it's a strategic one. Today, in terms of, because I was, as I was telling you, that we are investing a lot of money in improve our delivery, improve our products, make a fight for a repositioning of our brands. Mm -hmm. That means that we change the concept. We elevate to another level of where do we see of ourselves competing in the marketplace. So I need to have a platform that helps me to give me information in a real time of this new concept, how it's doing, in order That's to right. see myself of how I'm positioning and reconfirm how does the market is, uh, what is the perception that they have about my brand. Because today, as I say, one of our challenges to gain awareness, because today, we need to also gain more brand equity mm -hmm. compared to these guys where now we want to play. So Diego, how do you see the relationship and collaboration between uh, Rate Gain and uh, Palladium Hotel Group? Yeah, I think that the, the relationship is, 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 is absolutely great. Uh, I mean, uh, we, we feel very comfortable uh, working uh, with you guys. Uh, I think that one of your best points is the technology that you, you are using because uh, it is, it's allow us or it allow you to gather such much information uh, and we are converting this information in, in, in time value actions. Uh, another important point is your, uh, your sales force. I mean, uh, it's difficult to, to find a sales force who are able to speak the same language with you in terms of the hospitality industry. All you guys has a lot of experience in this in this in in the in the sector that is is key for us. So uh, I think that we have a very strong partnership, and we hope this partnership goes long in in the future. Well, I, I really want to thank you uh, both uh, Sergio and uh, Diego for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know yeah. you're, you're 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 quite busy, and thank yeah. you so much for the breakfast oh, today no in this amazing uh, <laughs> suite at Duzwaya. And um, so, hope to see you soon. And uh, everyone have a wonderful day. And especially, you know, uh, follow today the uh, uh, the live webinar. Diego is gonna yeah. also participating, so um, it's gonna be interesting. You will so. be in a great hands. Yeah. 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 I hope. Fantastic. <laughs> so, so, so thank you, thank you again, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, Nico. my friend. Thank you.